Uh, hi guys, Claire Staines here at Lothlorien Dog Services. A few things have been flying about Facebook the last couple of days and round about social media and it opened up an old sore for me, is probably the best way I can put it. And this, there's a couple of videos going around on touch correction and touch correction is very popular or appears to be very popular and I thought it was declining in popularity. Um, now, touch correction involves when a dog is doing something you don't like, you use your hands to correct them. So you use your fingers and you either jab into the neck area, just behind the, the dog's ears, or into the, the area just at the bottom of the ribcage. Okay? Now, if you're standing upright and you can't bend down, you can always just use the back of your heel also. Now, they're called touch correction, however, I'm not going to dress it up any other way and I'm not going to BS it. It's the slap and it's the kick. So, why would we not kick our dog in the ribs? Well, first of all, at the bottom of the rib cage, we have on the left hand the spleen and we have on the right hand the liver. Now, Although these areas are mostly protected by the rib cage, varies from breed to breed, there is still some exposure of organs there. So we just don't want to be messing about with that. Even a, a mild little kick could potentially cause damage. However, if we didn't use a back heel touch correction style kick, then we would not cause any damage so you know we're, we're immediately increasing the likelihood of causing damage to these areas when we do that sort of thing in the neck area we have um the the, the jugular going up and if we continue to correct in these areas again we increase the likelihood of causing damage so at the end of the day the only thing i would say is if your dog's doing something you don't like don't kick it and don't hit it. Uh, so therefore, don't use a touch correction. Train the dog. Teach the dog what you want it to do instead. Now, I know the touch correction has been made very popular by the man on the telly. Um, the popular dog trainer, Caesar Milan, has made it a very, very popular and very common thing to do. And he explains it in such a way that people listen and because people see it on the telly they think it's right well i watch eastenders and i know it's about as far from fact as could possibly be okay so because it's going on in telly don't do it if you have hired a dog trainer that is, is saying to do this and explaining to you that it snaps the dog's brain out of it I cannot urge you enough not to do it. It's, it's damaging, okay? The other thing that I see is dogs that have residual effects of this style of training. If you move your feet too quickly, you see the dog, okay? It looks nervous. If you move your hands down, they blink, they move away, their body language moves away. Here comes my boy. So we, hands should be giving things. Hands should not be something to be scared of. It's embarrassing that we even have to be telling people not to do this. But we're trying to build up relationships with our dogs. Um, and doing bad shit with your hands just does, it doesn't make things any easier. And also with the feet. I mean, really. Right, so if you've got any questions regarding the, the touch correction, feel free to get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to, to go on about it all day. Does it work? Um, my son did mention to me the one thing I should say is about pros. Does it work? Yes, it works. If you kick your dog in the ribs enough, it's going to stop doing things, okay? But you're not teaching it anything. Um, all you're doing is punishing it for doing something wrong and I always go back to the same question is wrong in whose eyes 
So I'm going to leave you with that. As I say, any questions, feel free to get in touch. Um, but please stop with the touch corrections. They're not cool. Thanks for watching. Happy training.